Next is a random sequence generator. So you'll be given a random sequence. Okay. For example, 0, 3, 5, 6, 0. So after 6, it is repeating. Okay. 0, 3, 5, 6, 0, 0, 3, 5, 6, 0. Likewise, it will be repeating. So 0, 3, 5, 6 is my random sequence. After that, it is repeating. That's why you put a 0 and then etc. Okay. So in this case, what you will do is, so it needn't be uh, in a, uh, what do I say, ascending order or descending order or anything like that. Like up count or down count or nothing like that. It can be 0, 5, 3, 6. Okay. It can be in any random sequence. So, uh, in the sequence, first what you have to do is, you have to see which is the largest number. So, in this case, the largest number is 6. So, 6 is 110. So, you need 3 flip-flops. Okay. The largest number you take and how many flip-flops you need to represent that, that is the uh, number of flip-flops. So, 0, 3, 5, 6, 0. So, it is actually 0. It goes to 3, 0, 3, 5, 5, you can draw like that also, it's okay, 6, then 0. This is called the state diagram. You can draw the state diagram for any uh, counter. 3 bit up counter, you can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then return to 0. A down counter you can draw six seven six five four three two one again um, one zero then again seven like that so any random sequence uh, mode n counters mode six counter zero one two three four five return to zero so this is a way of drawing the state diagram it just shows how the counter is counting what is the order in which it is counting so here it is zero 3, 5, 6, then return to 0. Okay. So, that is the state diagram. So, when you draw any uh, counter, first thing you can draw is the state diagram. For any counter, you can draw that and start. The, before the truth table, you can draw the state diagram. Okay. So, we drew the state diagram. Then, we will draw the... Uh, truth table. So, this particular question, I am uh, going to uh, tell you how to check for lockout. Check for lockout, we have uh, dealt with in our previous video. Uh, how to design for lockout and also we have to uh, see how to, like, if you are not checking for lockout, how to design a particular uh, random sequence generator. So, Q2, Q1, Q0. Q2 plus, Q1 plus, Q0 plus. We will take T2, T1, T0. You can take any. So, 0, 3, 5, 6 and 0. That is my question. So 0, next state is what? 3. 3, next state is what? 5. 5, next state is what? 6. And 6, next state is 0. So this is how you write the truth table. 0, 3. 3, 5. 5, next state is 6. 6, next state is 0. Next you will write T2, T1, T0. So 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1 is 1. 1, 1 is 0. 0, 0 is 1. T1, Q1 and Q1 plus 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1. 0, Q1 
q0 q0 plus e that i t0 0 1 is 1 1 1 is 0 1 0 is 1 0 0 is 0 yes then draw the uh, k map for t2 t1 and t0 so this is q2 q1 q0 So, 0, 0, 0, it is 0, 0, 1, 1, it is 1. So, check, do like that, don't make mistakes. 1, 0, 1, 5, 5, it's 0, 6 is 1. So, here 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, and 7 are invalid states. 2 also, sorry. 1, 2, 4, 7. So, we will draw like this. So, T2 is Q1. Okay. Then T1. T1 is all these are ones and the rest will be don't guess so it is one T0 0 is Zero is one, three zero, five is one, one zero one, six is zero, so zero, one is don't care, two is don't care, uh, three, four, four is don't care, five, six and seven, so it is like this. So that is Q1 bar. Valid states, so, sorry, invalid states. So the valid states were 0, 3, 5, 6. So invalid states are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. Then we will write uh, T2 equal to Q1. T2 equal to Q1. So that is 0, 1, 0, 1. T1 equal to 1. T0 equal to Q1 bar. Q1 bar. This is Q1. So Q1 bar is 1, 0, 1, 0. So T2, 0 means Q2. 1 means Q2 bar. 0, Q2, 1, Q2 bar. This is all 1. So it is Q1 bar. So 1, 0, 1, 0. Q0 plus 1. So Q0 bar. 0. So Q0. 1, Q0 bar. 0, Q0. So here if... 1 comes in, if 1 comes in, you apply a clock, it goes to 2, 2 is an invalid state, you apply another clock, it goes to 4, it is another invalid state, you apply another clock, it goes to 7. It is another invalid state. You apply another clock. It goes to 1. Which is another invalid state. So here. If an invalid state comes. And you apply the clocks. 
it is just going through the invalid states only it is not returning back to the valid state or the valid sequence within one or two clock pulses it is 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 7 7 to 1 it is within the invalid states itself it is stuck inside the invalid state so if somehow an invalid state comes in between then it will be stuck there okay so that is meant by lockout so there is lockout in this particular case so in such case or in any case like if the question is a designer random sequence generator to go through the sequence 0 3 5 6 0 or designer mode 6 counter synchronous counter any such questions if you are not asked to check for lockout you needn't do all these if you are asked to check for lockout do till here if there is a lockout then you have to start the design from first okay so how do you do that that is q2 q1 q0 q2 plus q1 plus q0 plus We will write all the sequences, valid, invalid, everything. So, my question was 0, 3, 5, 6. Okay. So, 0 next state should be 3. 1 that is an invalid state leave that for now 2 is an invalid state 3 next state is 5 4 is an invalid state 5 next state is 6 6 next state is sorry it is 0 ok now we will come back to the uh, invalid states so invalid states the next state should be the start of the sequence in this case the start of the sequence is 0 so keep it to 0 it should be the start of the sequence note it down it should be the start of the sequence in this particular case it is 0 that is why we are going to 0 it is not that in all the uh, invalid states the next state should be 0 maybe you have a sequence wherein you don't have a 0 so 0 itself is an invalid state so don't take the next state to be 0 then it will be stuck in the invalid states so since 0 is the start of the sequence in our case we will take the next state to 0 for all the invalid states then we will continue the synchronous design like in any other case. We will write this. Write the KMAP for T2, T1, T0. Solve it. And from the, those equations draw the circuit. You need not check for lockout nothing because here you have designed for lockout. If you are asked just to design for this, this is how you do. Any random sequence generator, any mode and counter synchronous, if you are asked to design, you are not, uh, they don't talk about lockout or anything, this is how you design. You have to consider all the states. Valid states, next state should be the sequence, according to the sequence. Invalid state, next state should be the start of the uh, sequence. Whatever number comes at the start of the sequence. Then design normally and draw the circuit. If you are asked to check for lockout, check for lockout like in the earlier case. 
If there is no lockout, fine. You can go with those expressions. If there is lockout, say that there is lockout and do this. And draw the circuit. So that is lockout and design for lockout.